The next question refers to uh, health care, and I will ask that only the candidates for U.S. Senate and for uh, representatives to Congress answer the question. Portions of the health care reform bill kicked in this week. How would you address the cost of health care in the United States, not only for children and seniors, but for all age groups? Thank you, Michael Eric Curie. You know, there were two things uh, about health care, and I think everyone agrees with the, the two things that needed to be done. One is we needed to make sure that people who didn't have insurance, people who didn't have insurance, have insurance. And secondly, to make sure that the people who do have insurance can continue to afford it. And, and, and I think that's critically important. And I know many of the people in this room were not happy when I voted no on health care, but my concern about that was the fact that we needed to do more to make sure that the people that do have health care can continue to afford it. Things like taking away the monopoly that insurance companies have um, so that there is competition among them, which would drive the prices down. That was not in the bill. That is one way that we can help get cost under control. A second thing, and I think it is clearly the, the single most important factor, is allowing Medicare to negotiate the cost of prescription drugs with the pharmaceutical companies. That is absolutely critical. That will drive down the cost, which in fact will help to keep health care under costs under control. I mean, that's what it's about. I mean, it's about getting cost under control, and it's also about making sure that people that don't have it get insurance. Thank you. I'm a lowly state. I'm still stuck on the idea that you've got all these drunks riding around on mass transit. That's right. <laughs> Warren Redlick, by the way. <laughs> oh, uh, Richard, yeah. Uh, I don't know where to begin. First of all, the Mr. Arcuri voted for the House bill that was more expansive, more intrusive, and more expensive, which to me makes his explanation about his voting against the Senate bill all but uh, incoherent. The truth is both bills were intrusive and too expensive. The truth is that I don't need him or my president, Mr. President Obama, to tell me I can keep what I already have. I earned it. I paid for it. And also, we all know that everyone needs health care, and the goal should be to find affordable health care for everybody. And how do we get there? We get there by not by taxing another. We've added a trillion dollars to, to this new program in new taxes. Half of it comes from Medicare cuts, which affect many people in this room. The other half of it comes from raising taxes, which has the net effect of reducing our ability to pay for it because it reduces the energy in the private economy. There is no doubt, there is no doubt that health care is the most pressing issue today. Whether this bill gets repealed or whether we move forward with it, we really do need to address it. 18% uh, of our economy which is, is health care, which makes us the most expensive health care provider in the world. Think about this. Everybody in the rest of the world that provides health care is someplace between 9 and 13 percent. We're 18. That gives us an automatic disadvantage in, in everything we produce and in everything we do. We need transferability across borders. We need to have uh, a program that, and this, incidentally, this, this is this trillion dollar bill that's coming for health care is taken over 10 years, but it only pays for six years of the program. We need to have uh, more responsibility amongst individuals in terms of how they use their health care and how they treat their own body. I think we need much better and more thoughtful end of life decisions. And Thank you.